a video in like nine years I'm a little crusty right now it's been a day if your eyes have not seen if your ears have not heard I did get a haircut slash cut my own hair like two weeks ago or last week girl I don't know I don't know what day it is I don't know what time it is I just don't know but um, my hair is a lot shorter now it took off about of four inches so I'm really excited to do a new hairstyle well it's not a new hairstyle I'm doing a three strand twist out I also haven't done a three strand twist out in about a, a year and a half either so I don't really remember how to do this but we're definitely gonna get a little refreshers course on it today you know the first thing I always do is split my hair into the appropriate amount of sections I'm going to do four sections today all right, so the two products I'm using today, not sponsored or anything. <laughs> it's by the main choice. It's the Tropical Moringa line. I'm using their leave-in conditioner and I'm using their, what is this, the braid out cream. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I've used their braid out. This is what I'm doing. I've used their braid out glaze before for a braid out. It wasn't my favorite, but I cannot find my 24 karat gold twisting cream. So this is what I, this is what I have going on here. Make sure my hair is nice and detangled. So I'm gonna do a few off camera first to remind myself and refresh myself how this actually works. And then I'm gonna try to give y'all a detailed tutorial because I just think this is gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so I went ahead and did two off camera. I'm not sure what happened with the first one, but we just gonna ignore that. But the second one came out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of them on camera to show you what I got going on. Now, quick disclaimer. I'm not 100% sure if this is the right way to do it because I you know, kind of just taught myself how to do it. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the right way to do it, but it looks right to me, you know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna do what we do. I'm using this Pearly Braid Out Glaze. It's really sticky, like look, this consistency is, is something special. It's like, you know. It's not my favorite. I feel like it's a little bit too sticky for what I would prefer. Child, the ghetto. Anyway, let's get to let's get to styling. I know some people start their three strand twist from the very top, but I start mine off with a braid so I can get my three pieces together and in formation. So I'm starting off with these three pieces and I'm gonna just do a quick braid. So I just did my braid from here to here. Very small, not a lot. So now I have three pieces here. I'm gonna start with the middle piece and pull it over. And then I'm gonna grab the middle piece with these two fingers and then pull the furthest one over. So now I'm just gonna be pulling the furthest one over each time. See, this is the furthest one. Pull it over, exchange this middle piece here with these two fingers and then take the furthest one over do a quick exchange from here to here. Grab the furthest one over. Do the exchange from these fingers to these fingers. Grab the third one over. I know it sounds a little confusing and a little complicated, but as soon as your fingers really get into the motion of doing it, it gets a lot easier and you can start moving a lot quicker. So I like to detangle when I get to the bottom. Spray a little bit of water on there and then keep going. And you guys all know my major key alert when I get to the bottom, I'll just either, you know, do what I gotta do to make sure the ends are good. To, ooh, hey, my goodies all out. Put some product on my finger and then I will coil the ends. Major key. And there you have a three strand twist. You can always see like, the handoff from the braid to the three strand twist we're just gonna <laughs> act like that ain't there so i will say back when my hair was this length i used to do my twists a lot smaller because i personally believe or i used to believe i don't know i don't know what i believe right now 
But I just feel like the shorter your hair, the smaller your twist should be to get the most defined look. But lately I'm kind of into like the whole big frizzy hair type deal. Like obvi I obviously don't want it to be too frizzy, but I'm kind of feeling like the bigger hair type deal thing. So I also feel like if you do them too small, it just comes out looking kind of stringy. But that's just me. It really depends on your preference and what you want your hair to come out looking like. You know what, I'm going to experiment with this piece here and I'm gonna start my three strand twist from the beginning. Oh wow, that was not hard at all. All right y'all, switching things up. I decided to just start it off with the twist instead of having that weird line of demarcation when I move from a braid to the three strand twist and it actually turned out really good. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that in a second, but I'm gonna just finish this side of my hair and start the bottom of this side. I feel like by now everyone knows how to do this, but I'm running out of video ideas, so we're just gonna do it anyways. Okay, be right back. All right, you guys, so I wanna show you how I'm doing my hair. First of all, the curls are popping, but we're just gonna, <laughs> that's not why we're here. So I'm gonna split these into three pieces over here. One, two, and three. Now I feel like doing it this way is a little bit trickier, starting it off like this, because my hands kind of get confused and want to start a braid, but that's not what we're doing. So I have my three pieces right here. I'm gonna grab the middle one, and then I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing. We're still doing the exchange from this, these middle fingers to these fingers here. Grab that, and then grab the furthest piece over. So, do the exchange and grab the furthest piece, exchange from these fingers to these fingers, and grab the furthest piece over. You know what I'm saying? So you just get into the groove of the thing. Try to keep it tight so you don't have these loose twists. So again, you have it in these two fingers, now you're gonna exchange into these two fingers, and then grab this over. And at this point, I feel like I don't even have to say it anymore, but I will just in case. Cool, the ends, baby. Why did my voice just crack? And, oh, it's so pretty. Here we have it. Focus, focus. All right, you guys, so it's the next morning and my hair is 100% dry. I did have to sit underneath a dryer for about two hours just to make sure my hair was completely dry, but whatever, whatever. So I'm using the shine mist, it's like, okay. So I'm using this Cream of Nature shine mist, it's like an oily substance and I'm gonna spray it on my hair. That product is definitely a hair oil. It's very, very oily, which is exactly what I want to make sure my hair does not frizz out too much when I'm taking down my twist. All right, so taking out your three strand twist is just like taking out your other twist. You kind of just roll them in the opposite direction and then start taking them apart. Like that. And then for the few that I did braids for at the top, you just lightly, carefully undo the braid. And then you have your three strand twist. Do 
do y'all see so pretty All right, so this is what my hair looks like before I separate all the twists. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and separate gently, kind of find where they separate on their own and separate a few of them like so. So now, I'm gonna work on these edges. For my edge control, I'm using the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges Extra Hold. All right, my cheetah print scarf is under construction right now, so we're gonna go ahead in with the backup scarf. Let my edges set. Okay. Now, you guys know what you need to do. Give it some shape and some body. Okay, so here is my final result. Now, for me personally, it's way too defined. It's just so defined. If you're looking for some crazy definition and a three strand twist is absolutely for you. Now for me, um, I'm gonna add a little, you know, stretchery to it just because I need a little more like it's so cute but I just feel like I need a little more body I need a little more movement I need a little more so y'all already know what time is about to be I mean just a little bit of just a little bit okay Okay, I feel a lot better now. So this is just something that you can do if you want some instant gratification. If you're okay to wait until like day two or three for your hair to grow out a little more, definitely leave it alone. It'll last a lot longer without you doing all of this jazz and fun stuff. But I just gotta be on the big hair don't care wave. I have to. But even with all that, my hair is still extremely defined. Like, excuse me, miss. What's your name? Come on, this looks so good. Anyways, you guys, so that is my full three strand twist tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. And I'm just gonna, you know, flex a little bit on the gram and then I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.